Tomorrow is a day I've been waiting for, for a very long time. Tomorrow I begin work in a maximum security prison doing a meditation and stress management class. I decided that I wanted to start working in a prison last year after Sister Simone Campbell's speech about walking into trouble during the Ware Lecture. I couldn't get it off my mind, and shortly after that, I became connected to a group that did work with incarcerated women who were mothers. At that point, I asked them, what do you need? And they said, well, what we really need is some alternative ways for the women to deal with their stress. Yoga classes, meditation, anything like that is what we really need. And I was like, oh, well, meditation, that's my thing, so... I think I'm qualified to go in and teach a meditation group. And of course, I wanted to jump in with both feet, and so I asked to go into the maximum security women's facility. I didn't get a yes at that time. I got a, well, let's try to take baby steps, and let's try uh, a low a lower security facility first and see if you like it, and if you do, we'll talk about it later. So I did that, and it was wonderful, amazing work, and I loved it, and felt nourished spiritually by it, and just was really excited. And uh, after the six-week class ended, I missed the women, and I missed the work, and I just really wanted to keep, keep doing it. So I decided to ask again if I could do the class in the maximum security facility fully expecting to get the answer no. But no is not what they said. They said yes. Yes, you can come in. The warden approved me almost immediately. My coursework was approved almost immediately. My background check was done almost immediately. And instead of having to wait months to get in the door like I had last time, it was a matter of weeks before I was allowed to go in. Tomorrow is the day that I go in. And I am filled with what Sister Simone Campbell would call holy doubt. Doubt that it's going to work out. Doubt that I'm brave enough to cross that threshold and walk into trouble. As a matter of fact, I'm shaking in my boots. So what I'm doing right now is sharing with you how I feel the day before I walk into what I'm calling trouble. Not circling trouble anymore, but taking that step forward into it taking a deep breath and filling myself with as much courage as I can find and walking into trouble. Stay tuned because tomorrow after I walk into trouble I'm gonna come back here and see and speak to you about how things went how things went with me shaking in my boots by getting my way by hearing the blessed yes and walking in Sometimes courage is not about the beginning of something. Sometimes courage is about staying. Sometimes courage is about coming back or not running away. So on Tuesday when I walked into the prison, the, ma the maximum security prison this time, it was not the same kind of place I'd been before. I saw the wisdom in asking me to take baby steps. So many times when we're afraid Taking baby steps, trying something out on a lower scale is important to build our confidence and give us the ability to have courage to take those final steps into what I was calling trouble last time I spoke about this, but now what I'm feeling more is the courage to stay. When I walked into the prison, it was a different situation. Even the front door locked behind me. Each time a door locked behind me, I had to take a deep breath and muster the courage to stay, to let go of what I had been worried about, the things I'd made up in my mind, and to um, keep myself safe, and to keep myself... Um, I can't say anything other than keep myself from leaving. I don't think that I needed to hold on to my seat exactly, but each layer into the prison, I had to really talk myself through it, and so many times when we go on a journey, we talk about the beginning. 
the very first steps of the journey, the courage it takes then. But what we forget is it takes courage for each step along the way. So as I walked in to the class and I sat down, there were about 14 women who came. They were not like the women in my last class. The place was not like the place in my last class. Last time I taught, it was in an office. This time I was actually in the cell block in a small room with 14 people in very close quarters. It took a long time to get back there. There was a lot of waiting. And interestingly enough, the waiting is what the women talk about there, the thing that they need the most help with, how to deal with spiritually, is being in line, waiting, having the courage to stay having the courage to even go. So I was really humbled by the experience and I'm really glad I went. And what I'm realizing is each week that I go, it's going to take courage. Each moment I stay is going to take courage. The courage to be present to them, the courage to be present to myself, and the courage to not run away. Not run away from trouble. So my little phrase has been turned around. Sister Simone Campbell said to walk into trouble. Well now, my little saying is, I am going to have the courage to not run away from trouble once I walk in. I'm going to have the courage to sit with my holy doubt, be there with my holy doubt, and not run away. Let reality, not worries, be the problems I face.